What's up, everybody? Doc Dog when I need five. There's levels to this. I want to show you guys real quick what it looks like when I'm turning on my PC from uh, everything turned off. Essentially, if I come home or whatever the case may be, we just came home from uh, from a wedding, and I want to show you guys uh, particularly this app called Controller Companion and how I have it set up. So this is typically what I do. I'll come home, right? I'll hit the power button here. Boom on the PC. I'll grab this controller here, which is the, the controller to the computer. This controller here, which is the controller with the keyboard. And then I'll turn on the TV with this controller here. So essentially I grab three items, right? Turn that on. I could set it up so that the PC turns on the TV, but I just don't have it set up that way. And I hit that. While that's happening um, in the background, all right, the PC is loading up. There it is. I need this controller here to navigate the Windows menu button. All right, and then I'll put my code in, which I'm not going to show you guys my code. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. And there you go. And then now here I am. I'm loaded up. Now, I have it boot up into Steam Big Picture mode automatically. I turn on my controller and there you go. Now this app here, Controller Companion, I'm gonna show you something, right? So I don't know how long that took for me to actually get into the the the, the system, but you guys can figure it out from the video. But I'm gonna show you now. So from here, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Remember that I, right now you see how my controller is not working as a mouse, right? I have the other app that I have to push this button and then this becomes the, the mouse. That's one game launcher does that. It automatically, as soon as you boot it up, as soon as you download that app and you click on allowing that, it automatically happens with whatever controller you have con connected. My, uh, or controller companion, however, I don't know why I don't, somebody knows a different way to set this up this app you have to actually click it and launch it in order for it to work so that's what I would do I would click it launch it and then that's it so now my controller is a full mouse with keyboard and everything now this is better than the other app that I used um, the only difference is that the other app connects automatically turns your your control into a mouse But this turns into a mouse and a keypad and everything and I'm gonna show you once I minimize this It automatically knows like okay, I'm in desktop mode. So now This is my mouse. Okay, a button is is right is a uh, left click X button is right click, but let me show you guys how cool this is. Okay, so if I open up, say, uh, a browser, right? Let's go, I don't know, let's go YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something. And typically, if you click on this, right? Nothing nothing pops up, like a keyboard or anything like that. So what I, would, what I do is I press on this here, boom, and I get a virtual keyboard in which I could type whatever I want to type. Let me see if I can show you guys a little bit better. Yes, I get a virtual keyboard with a tab I want to type. So who who do we want to see? Y'all let me know. What do y'all want to see? Do y'all want to see uh I don't know, let's just check out some uh some dirt, some dirt griggity. Uh great channel. We know we support dirt over here. Alright, so I hit dirt. Space is Y. All right. Uh, there and there he is. So all so automatic pops up. I'll go here and I could just click on it. Bam. Boom. Dirt griggity. And I did that all from the controller. Now, something else that happens with this app is let's say that for whatever reason, let me back back out again. Let's say that for whatever reason I don't want it to use as a mouse and and keyboard anymore. If I press both these buttons here on the controller at the same time, it disables it. So now it is no longer a mouse and keyboard. But if I press it again, I make it a mouse and keyboard again. So that helps because when you launch a game 
for the most part, the app automatically recognizes that you're launching the game and it stops using the controller as a mouse and keyboard. But some games, well, the only game that it hasn't worked on has been Forza Motorsport. And for whatever reason, with that game, I have to go ahead and just turn it off manually. So I'll show you guys that. So with Forza Motorsport, when I hit run, and I'll show you guys as I run it right now, it just... I, I don't know why it does that, but you'll see. So for the most for look, right now it's starting and it's still working as a mouse and keyboard, which it shouldn't be. Right now that the game is starting, this should already have transitioned over to just the game. Okay. So even if I press a button, right? Because sometimes some games on PC are like they just gotta press a, a button on the controller and the game's recognized like okay. You're playing on a, on a regular controller, so we'll go ahead and turn that off, right? But as soon as I touch this, boom, you see it comes back. Now, for the Motorsport, I'll be honest with you, I could navigate it like this, right? Because, again, it just becomes a mouse. But it becomes a little bit annoying, especially, like, when you're racing, you'll see the mouse cursor come across. Like, you're not trying to do that when you're actually, you know. So what do you do? Boom. Turned it off. Now I got my regular controller, and I could go ahead and play regularly you know what i'm saying and just run the game you know regularly and and and, and it'll be freaking uh perfect so that's what i wanted to show you guys so that controller companion app to me um i i do like it if especially it makes it real easy once i have the pc already turned on i could pretty much do everything i need with this but like I showed you guys before, if you don't want to do all that, this is not that difficult to have with you. Or even a keyboard sitting next to you is not that difficult either. So I wanted to just um, let you guys know about that cool little app. Y'all let me know if there's anything else that y'all want to learn, again, from, you know, from console to PC. And, uh, yeah, we will we will go from there. All right? Doc Dog when I need five, you already know. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.